Hello, and welcome to the first and probably only episode of Nat's Taste Buds Are Broken But Still Has to Eat Anyway cooking show. So, I thought I would show you the meal that I have every single night for supper, which is a bland concoction of healthy food. Um, although this is just one variation of it, sometimes I do it with rice and sometimes I do it with noodles. We're making a bland concoction of food because A, there's no fucking point anyway. B, um, a lot of flavors that you would add to food taste like it's going bad. And C, when you add multiple flavors together, it somehow makes it more bland. Today, we're gonna be doing it with rice. Basmati rice, to be specific. I used to love basmati rice. Now it doesn't taste like anything. I could have just bought regular rice, but you can't change me. Okay, to make your rice, you need either a pot or a rice cooker. I highly suggest a rice cooker. They're fucking fantastic. I make enough meals to last me four days. Um, normally, people might be like, what? You're eating the same thing four days in a row? That's so boring. My entire life is boring. I mean, anything that I eat that doesn't really taste like anything is gonna end up exactly the same at the end. Which, if you know me from TikTok, or from real life, then you you know what that ending is. But if you don't, I will not spoil it for you. First step, pour one cup of rice in your rice cooker. Then pour two cups of water in your rice cooker. Some people might tell you to wash your rice first. I didn't do that. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna cook this ground beef, which almost tastes like ground beef. So at least I have that going for me. And you can just plop the beef on your pan. Plop. While the beef is cooking, we'll cut up this large amount of red peppers because they're almost the only vegetable that doesn't taste like the rotting flesh of my heart. And red peppers almost taste like red peppers, which is great until you mix it with other stuff and then all the flavors disappear. Kind of like my will to live. Once all your red peppers are cut up, you can just add it to your beef mixture. Next, we're gonna chop up a fuck ton of spinach. Spinach doesn't taste like anything, but it's good for you. And you don't have to chop it up, but I like to chop it up because I don't like having big pieces of wilty spinach. Gross, I like little pieces. You gotta get that spinach starting to cook so it gets smaller and you can add more. It'll get smaller, don't worry. So I always use one pretty bowl for the meal that I'm gonna eat right after making it. And then I just use containers for the rest of them. You can use whichever container you like. I just have these stained containers. The rice is done cooking. You're just gonna grab a spoon and scoop your rice into your containers and your bowl for t that you're gonna use right away. Once your rice is dished out, scoop in the rest of your food. There we are. Isn't that delightful? It's really not. Now for my secret ingredient. It's actually not secret, but now we're gonna smother it in French's mustard. It has to be French's. I've tried other brands. The other brands are trash. And now we smother. Pro tip, if you think you've poured enough, you probably haven't. And now your COVID broken taste bud meal is ready to enjoy. It needs more mustard. That'll do. Also, this is not sponsored, but I wouldn't mind if French has even just sent me some free mustard. I go through like a bottle a week, guys. <laughs> and there you have it. Then all you have to do for the next three days 
is just pop it out of the fridge, put it in the microwave, and smother away. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>